How are you handling the morass? Remember, it's not your world. As I have said again and again throughout the years, neither did you um, sow to it, neither were you invited in to participate in the building of the system, neither shall you be responsible for it. Neither were you invited to participate in it, neither are you responsible for it. And you've really got to learn this. You were not accepted in it. You might have had a job, but you were not in the world system. You were perhaps in it, not of it, you might say. As Jesus said in John 17. be one of them. You were not allowed to be one of them. You did not get the benefit from the system thereof. The occultic benefit that goes to those who sow to the system. Those who have been initiated, those who have been called. They get the benefits from it, from the collective. They give to it and receive from it. This did not happen to you. And so when you see their markets falling, it has nothing to do with you. When you see the political process in Washington, it has nothing to do with you. Neither did you, did you create the situation. Because to create the situation, you must be part of it. You must be initiated into it. Because the purpose of the system is to fail do what you see on television now. What we have prophesied to you has come to pass. That's, and I have said, that's the purpose of the system. To destroy man. That's the purpose of it. It's not to reform some people on Wall Street and that will fix it. Or, you know, to give them $700 billion and that will fix it. Or that somehow we're going to get oversight in on this thing that will fix it make the taxpayer somehow they'll profit five or ten years from now that'll fix it no it's this it's, is this is permanent damage and cannot be fixed and people are beginning to understand that but how did we get here it had nothing to do with you with bush 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 bush